What I'm going to talk about today is the idea that we're living in a holographic reality and this reality that we experience on a daily basis is actually a giant hologram. You know, we grew up thinking and believing that the world and the reality in which we exist in is something tangible and physical and it's just as is perceived. But not only does this thought process become disillusioned with various difficult to explain phenomena, but perceptions become realized as completely subjective that don't reflect an objective reality. And with the significant advances in the knowledge and information attained by the human race, radical shifts in how reality is perceived are now being created. So, where the universe was once seen as this vast, empty space, with bits of matter scattered about here and there, is now being seen more and more often as a holographic projection stemming out of some primary reality unseen to our scientific instruments and our normal perception of reality. The evidence for a holographic reality is becoming really plentiful actually right now and it's just too much to be disregarded. And what gives it more credibility is that those who have experienced higher states of consciousness through things like meditation, astral projection, and entheogens have been saying very holographesque things. To give an example of some hard evidence that we have for the holographic reality, there was some research done in the early 80s by the University of Paris, which discovered that under certain circumstances, subatomic particles such as electrons are able to instantaneously communicate with each other regardless of the distance separating them. It didn't matter if they were 10 feet apart or 10 miles apart. Somehow, each particle always seemed to know what the other was doing. The great physicist David Bohm believe that these findings imply that objective reality does not even exist and despite its apparent solidity the universe is at its heart a phantasm a gigantic and splendidly detailed hologram so if you don't understand exactly what a hologram is at its core the whole is within the part and no matter how many times you divide the whole the part will always contain its totality. Just as higher consciousness realizations show that each part, as seemingly small or separate it is from the total reality and the source of reality itself, contains that very source and vice versa. So what can we deduce from the holographic experiments? Well, basically, autonomy and separateness are an illusion and everything is part of an interconnected wholeness. Now oneness is something that's a concept found in basically every major belief system ever manifested within the realm of human consciousness. So this only emboldens our recent discoveries pertaining to manifested reality. And if indeed this is the case, then the universe itself is a projection, so a hologram. If the apparent separateness of subatomic particles is an illusion, it means that at a deeper level of reality, all things in the universe are infinitely interconnected. The electrons in a carbon atom in the human brain are connected to the subatomic particles that comprise every salmon that swims, every heart that beats, and every star that shimmers in the sky. Oneness truly does prevail in this sense. In a holographic universe, even time and space could no longer be viewed as fundamentals because concepts such as location break down in a universe in which nothing is truly separate from anything else. Time and three-dimensional space, like the images of fish on a TV, would also have to be viewed as projections of this deeper order Reality is sort of a super hologram in which 
the past, present, and future all exist simultaneously. So if that's the case, that opens up a whole realm of possibilities. Just giving an example, we could right now be influencing the past, present, and future, and also directly affecting and changing each one if they're happening simultaneously. And at the same time, people in the future can be affecting the present right now or what is their past. You may have heard of something called the Mandela Effect, where people are remembering certain things differently than what they appear to be right now. One example is the Berenstein Bears. People thought it was spelt S-T-E-I-N in Berenstein. However, if you look anywhere now, it's S-T-A-I-N. Also, the Mandela Effect is named for Nelson Mandela, who people believed was dead at the time that this Mandela Effect became popularized. However, he was alive and well. So I think this is a topic that should be explored further because it can have really far-reaching implications on our, free, our future. This three-dimensional universe that we live in is a hologram created out of a primary reality that is outside the bounds of space and time. So you can see our universe as being a copy of something quote-unquote real, and it would make sense that our real self isn't actually another reality. Our consciousness is the real us. Consciousness is everything and therefore it is nothing since all that is, is consciousness. Our consciousness is the real us. And to build a further case for the holographic reality, I'd like you to consider the following. A holographic universe explains nearly all paranormal and mystical experiences. Near-death experiences can be explained by a holographic universe in that death is a shifting of a person's consciousness from one level of the hologram of reality to another. Current neurophysiological models of the brain are simply inadequate, and only a holographic model can explain things like archetypal experiences, encounters with the collective unconscious, and other unusual phenomena experienced during altered states of consciousness. A holographic model for the universe explains lucid dreams in which such dreams are visits to parallel realities. Synchronicities can be explained by the holographic model too. Our thought processes are much more intimately connected to the physical world than was previously thought. And also note that synchronicities tend to peak just prior to a new realization or insight. Telepathy, precognition, mystical feelings of oneness with the universe, and even psychokinesis can be explained through the holographic model. Holography can explain how our brains can store so many memories in such a little space. And to put a number on it, our brains can store 280 quintillion bits of information. Holography can also explain how we are able to recall and forget, how we are able to have associative memory how we have the ability to recognize familiar things, how we have the ability for the transference of new skills, how we have the ability to construct a world quote-unquote out there, how we are able to have the so-called phantom limb sensations, and how we are able to have photographic memory. So the brain itself would therefore be a holographic projection created out of a primary reality outside of time and space, if going by this logic. All relative realities are created by consciousness existing in relation to itself. We are that consciousness. We are that consciousness existing in relation to itself and interacting with itself. There is nothing else. None of the things we perceive as separate have an independent existence as are all, in actuality, relational extensions of the underlying unity of consciousness. Physical reality is just a product of consciousness. Consciousness is not a product of physical reality. Physical reality does not interact with itself in some unknown fashion to cause consciousness to come into existence. 
Consciousness in the process of repeated and progressive self-relation becomes the awareness of experience, and so that creates physical reality. There is realizations concerning the nature of the universe being a holographic projection through the experience of enlightenment. Once enlightenment is experienced by somebody, that person can understand exactly how the holographic universe operates and is indeed very real. There comes an understanding that we are multidimensional beings that exist simultaneously in many levels of quantum reality. There's no reason to get annoyed, angry, and stressed over things that happen in our lives in this physical reality because it's the lowest dimension of our awareness and it's all trivial in the grand scheme of things. If we focus on the specifics of reality, it may divert ourself from discovering and realizing the reason that we exist right now. This is why one of the steps to becoming enlightened is to replace fear and anger with wonder and curiosity. You know, reality is such a mysterious yet exciting place, so let's all be explorers of this enchanting life experience. And if you're interested in learning more about the holographic nature of reality, I highly recommend the book The Holographic Universe by Michael Talbot. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to grab a copy of this book. Hopefully now you can feel more at ease about this life because it's not the life that you're experiencing in the primary reality. We sometimes get so caught up in the day-to-day -day affairs of our lives, both in our personal lives and in what's going on out there in the world, but really there's so much more to reality than this three-dimensional existence and with this larger perspective, with this expanded awareness, we can give ourselves a little break. We owe ourselves a little bit of ease and relaxation about our lives here. It's not that serious, people. So relax, don't take things so seriously. Do the best you can, help yourself, help humanity. Let's create a new paradigm and just be more at ease with everything. Hopefully now you're able to expand your mind to realms previously unvisited and you may want to be a voyager to those realms in a more direct way yourself. You can experience the vastness of the multidimensional reality through several different kinds of techniques and tools. Uh, I mentioned them before, meditation, astral projection, remote viewing, and if you want to rely on external tools, then you can go into the world of entheogens and psychedelics if you are very careful. So get out there, be a intergalactic, interdimensional traveler, and experience all that reality has to offer. Music